Revelation 22, 12-16, those who will stay out of the kingdom of God. And, behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they who keep his commandments, that they may have a right to the tree of life, and may enter into the city through the gates. But the dogs and the sorcerers, and the prostitutes, and the murderers, and the idolaters, and every one that loveth and lie, shall be left out. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the resplendent morning star. Revelation 22, 12-16 Dear brothers in Christ, it is with great joy that we are studying the Word of God. Together with you, in the presence of the Creator of heaven and earth, in the presence of the Lord Jesus, and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ has only one goal. Rescue souls from the evil kingdom and bring them to God. We of the Libertos by the love of Christ, we approach every day on this same subject. And we come to the conclusion that the Gospel is so comprehensive that the themes that can be approached about the Gospel are infinite, in addition to being infinite they renew themselves every day. So we can continue our whole life approaching about the Gospel because the themes are inexhaustible. Today, we are going to address the theme of the Gospel that speaks of people who will not be part of the Kingdom of God, nor will they be part of eternal life. But we have never told here that the Gospel of Christ is only a Savior? Yes, the Gospel of Christ is just Savior, and all those who desire salvation will be saved. Because it only depends on an attitude, where Jesus Christ said, Come to me all that you are tired and overloaded, and I will encourage you. Jesus Christ offers a support to all those who are tired of fighting, who are carrying very heavy loads who are no longer bearing their loads and who need someone to take off the loads that are on people's shoulders, and put on them, thus relieving all those who are weary and burdened. However, there is a class of the tired and overworked, who do not seek the help of this one who can relieve the burdens, and since they do not seek the intercession, the help, this that can help, they continue to be involved with their overloads and the causes that bring these burdens upon themselves and prevent them from reaching the great alleviator, who takes upon himself the burdens of all who seek him. The causes that prevent them from reaching the great helper are written herein. Today's study, which is in the book of Revelation in chapter 22, verse 12 to 16. Let us make an analysis of this theme that Jesus Christ has passed for anyone who is interested in taking their burdens, who can better know this one that can ease the burden of all. In verse 12, Jesus Christ said, And then I come, and my word is with me, to give to everyone according to his work. Look at the language Jesus used at the very end of the Bible, on the last page. Here he does not use a parable, but speaks clearly and very directly, when he said, I come Sado, and the reward I have to give, I lead with me, so that each one receives what that deserves is all that he done. In verse 13, he says, I am Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. In verse 14 he says, that they shall lie to those who wash their clothes in the blood of him, because they will have the right to eternal life, and that right carries them to enter the sky by the doors. In verse 15, he says that, a class of people shall stay out, dogs, witchers, those who prostitute, those who take the life of others, those who Worship idols and all those who love lying and live the lie. In verse 16, Jesus Christ said that he sent his angel to reveal all these things to the churches, so that all may have knowledge of all that will happen to the end. Dear brothers in Christ, we never speak of condemnation and we are not talking today of condemnation, but we are passing to you the last revelations of the book of Revelation because salvation is for all, but not everyone desires salvation. Not everyone has pleasure in salvation, but there is a class of people who have pleasure in commenting the things that have been commented in this study. So that all know the truths contained in the holy book, it is that it does not go unnoticed by the orientations of the Holy Spirit. That is why we have the liberty for 
the love of Christ, are passing these revelations, and that all have the best attitude of their life, and choose eternal life. Amen. Glory to God.